point is you can't make a living out of it unless you can really you can churn for so fast and of the variety is just so high that the end is I know very few people who do it. I know of course. Uh, I don't know whether many of you are already aware of it. I think most of us are not, especially in the variety which I am going to talk about. So uh, let's begin. Uh, because I am doing this for the first time, I have never done a workshop ever before. Uh, I just request one more, put this light here. Yeah.
two words, it looks so obvious in hindsight, but the key is to get it without the money or how to it. With that, no. So there are themes and there are theme lists. But if support, okay, so good question. So uh, the crossroads I am talking about, there is another rule again, sorry. So Monday to Friday or Monday to Thursday crosswords are themes crosswords. The easiest one is on Monday and the difficulty level goes high. So Thursday will be the most difficult theme crosswords. Okay, let's start with some examples. Okay, look at this grid. Look at our basic rules. Is this special? Yes. Uh, the theme, the theme entries, the way to identify them is that they are the longest entries in the puzzle. So look at this one. Uh, along this one, patch down, 17 across. Shuffle board, 25 across. Nano particle, 41 across. And mini skirt, 54 across. These are my team entries. Why? Because they are the longest entries in the crossword. Our rule, are the team entries placed symmetrically? Yes, they are placed symmetrically. And they are all symmetrical lengths. So touchdown is 9 seconds, mini skirt is also 9 seconds. I don't know. Can you guess the team? It's the iPod. It's the iPod. Start with an iPod. So team dancers start with an iPod model. So you have an iPod touch, you have an iPod shuffle, you have an iPod nano, and you have an iPod mini. That's how a theme is created. So first you make a theme. Then you get the themes which are symmetrical, you place it symmetrically, that's your step one. Then you fill the grid around it. There are no rules how do you fill the grid. Apart from that, you cannot use the word twice and all that, you know which. But that's that's not so important. What's important is how do you get the theme. And and what's the what what the solver what the consultant has also done, he has given you the help. 61 across is the high point. Yes, my man. So you run away with uh, using iPod in both the title and the small words? No, the title is by me. Oh, okay. The, this title is here. Okay. Title of the crossword is not given by the constructor. In fact, most of the crosswords do not have titles. Because sometimes titles, uh, I don't know, it's up to the editor, frankly. No, no, actually there's an even more subtle point to the titles. Yeah. That's when you go to syndication, yes. the titles tend to disappear. So uh, if there's a hint in the title, you often get lost. The crossword, like for example, the LA Times crossword or the NY Times crossword does not have a title. So it's up to the editor, I believe. But we will, not, we will have all, our, all my crosswords, I'll show, we'll give you a title so that I can relate to it. So this was a primer. Now, hence on, difficulty level and the intellectual entertainment level will go up. So, focus. This was my debut puzzle in LA Times, the first time I was published. Now you know the rules, right? Now you know the trick. Look at the longest entries. Strawberry jelly, apple butter, cream cheese. Okay? Can you guess? And I have another entry which says middle age spread. What's the link? The first three theme answers are spreads on bread. And if you overindulge in them, you will have middle age spread. The middle age spread refers to the fat you have when you have middle aged. If you eat too much of them. So it's a play on the word spread. So one spread leading to another spread. I'm sorry if it bends your mind like this. A lot of people will have headache in some way. Uh, some, I will tell you the reason why I've this history. If you think by now that crosswords is crap or whatever I've said till now is you know. Nuclear engineer has sorry I'm just marking that L. Green LP has a general, Venture LP has a general, rifle rail has a general, and the general is this A, so it's not in that general format. General what we know. Another variety of theme. So, we have seen so far everything was consistent with our rules, right? 
Hence, more we will see people who break rules. Because rules are meant to be broken and when they are broken, they, they excite us more. Because then we explore something new. So, and what the constructor has also done is given credit to the guy who was sent on top right Oscar, bottom below white. It's an Oscar white code. Consistency is the last refuge of the unimaginable. So, we are not going to be consistent. Look at this one. This is my puzzle. Any times. Look at the three names. Walt Disney, Calvin Coolidge, and Russell Crowe. What brings them together? If you look at the last two letters of the first name and the first letter of the last name, engineering, INC, LNC, these are not acronyms for business. And they are in the core of their names. My team engineering is core business. These people need business. So you never knew what it is mean Calvin Coolidge. You have heard these names, right? These are all popular names, but what brings them together, looking at them in new light, now refers to my Amerikan video between the lines. That it is all new. You bring a new world to the same things we know. We know what it is mean. Like. Okay, I missed why I why I bought this puzzle after the quote about consistency. Can you tell me what is wrong? It breaks one of our rules. It's symmetric only one way. It's not, it's symmetric. Upside down is not symmetric. It's only symmetric like this. And it is not a square. It is a 14 by 16 grid. It's not a 15 by 15. This was done to adjust my entries. The editor was kind enough. He is God in Cross the World. That he accepted this breaking of rules. Because he thought he was good enough. So rules are there, but what excites the editor is you break it for a very good cause. An example. I like your Sorry? Oh, it's a okay. Yes, that was one of my kids. Sorry, it's not legible. Uh, that brings me to my story that I have solved. I started solving the Eric Times crossword, which is actually published in Times Media. In 1997, when I was in engineering, and I used to solve it in my training of you. I was just in Pamela and my college was in BJD and Amula. So that one and a half hour journey was this crossword which took me 12 years to read some kind of a stage before I thought I'd make it. So I used to always think that my name is so and I want an Indian name and I thought I know my name. So finally when I got that chance I told the editor I want to pay tribute to the local train and the city which has got me here. And he agreed so he put my name as my name. Uh, at this one. Okay, this is interesting. My puzzle in any times. Longest entries had dinner. Excessively, figures of speech took the gold and in favor of, right? And this is connected to my main theme entry, which is figures of speech. I can challenge you, you cannot tell me how are they connected. Okay. Now, figures of speech is known to us, right? Similarly, paradox, oxymoron, we have learned in school. I have turned that logic on its head. So, my clue for hat dinner was the number 8, was the figure 8. The clue for excessively was the figure 2. The clue for took the gold was 1, in favor of was 4. What I am playing on is the pronunciation. So, if you excessively, if you pronounce 8 as A-T-E, it's hat dinner. 2 as T W O is excessively, 1 is W O N to the gold, and 4 is F O R is in favor of. That's you get the figures of speech. Get the drift. This is a variety of things. Uh, <laughs> well, let me tell you, okay, for a season crossword solver, this is 10 minutes. This, this was, if I remember, this was a Wednesday one. So, it was a medium variety. Uh, okay, this I made. Just for the sake of it. I don't know. You, you find out the thing. It's not always a it's a private one. You get the longest answers. Down and out, I'll help you. Okay, this is a quote, but it's in a jumbled format. And it makes my point. 
The part one of the code is my problem. The part two of the code is with subtitle. The part three of the code is movies is that I am. And part four of the code is always viewing, which is here. And part five is down and up. Now, if you read in the same order, the way I want you to read is my problem with subtitle movies is that I am always viewing down and up. Yes. And I Okay? Afternoon tea. <coughs> Lay it down. This is the first time you are getting a team answer which is down. What's happening here is that the last word is the alphabet for the pronunciation. So geography B, B W. Only you, my own you. Caribbean C, S E A C. Uh, black eye P, P E A, my heart no T. Okay, another variety of E. Why this is special? It's because the crossword setter, one is what is 100 years old. It's published a couple of weeks back. She was born when crossword was born. 1913. In 2013, she is there. She has published 60 New York Times crosswords. 60. One is one. So this is a brain of a mind which is 100 years. These are the clues, but we can tell it now. Okay, this is my puzzle. Uh, look at the longest answers. Tiananmen and square. Square means polygon squares back to square one. Square. So what I do is, what I do is, that box is empty. So you need the square as a square. And the best part is, you need it square down as well. So, so, N E is equal to N C squared. So there is a bubble Q, in pool you need a Q. There is a sidewalk chalk, so you need a chalk. There is a wall Whitman bridge, you need a bridge. And you need a dress rack, you have a rack. And the last one is heart fell, you need a fell. Not just that, we have which are basically Friday, Saturday crosswords. They are typically more difficult to solve. Well, this is this. These types of crosswords are meant for somebody who is bored of the themes and wants to have something more or more different. So, raise an eyebrow. All kidding aside, a teenager in love, hostile table. Now, all these four entries are random, okay? But they run across, across, across. This is another one. This increases the challenge. There are six team entries which are, or rather, eight team entries which are across. Four on top, four below. Candle blue grass, traditional leaders, neighbor engagement, stainless glasses, obscene gestures, quotation my diet, elephant trainer, dental assistant. It is for an advanced job. I wanted to show you that. I think you know, the, the, the record is to have only 17 blocks. This is a bit more. I think this is a joke of 17. And it's not. It's a commemorative crossword. Now, some trivia. You know, crosswords in cul are cult in the US. So, I found out. Founder, Facebook co founder, and the call of manage have a crossword puzzle. Just for this. The theme was around the manage. So people can take it to the levels which they want. This is some pictures of the American puzzle tournament. This, is, this happens every year in Brooklyn, New York. I get invited as one of the judges. One of the privileges I have earned in my life. Look at this lady Jesus. Wearing a jacket is crossword. Lady the t-shirt is crossword. It has a name on that. Eliana Dandina. 
her cap is crossword, her jacket is crossword, the second lady, her earrings are crossword. Her necklace is crossword. I have people whose shoes, bow tie, crossword. So this is another view. I get to go. I will go again in March. I will quickly share some time on if somebody is thinking of how to make it or how does the process flow. A typical life cycle is, you know, you submit a puzzle. So puzzle submission is the first step. Then you have the editor's response. Now, you know, the world of puzzles is all about patience. So when you submit a puzzle, it takes on an average three to six months for the editor to respond. Most of the time the answer is no. Because he gets so many and the bar is so high that the answer is no. In fact, the life of, you know, like for example, we go in crossword community, I'm used to rejection, I'm a crossword So I get to get anything. Right? So it is a response four to six months. And if you are lucky and if you are whatever the answer is yes, the average publication time for again six to nine months is as many time away. So a typical crossword life cycle runs into you. At least for me. Maybe not for the seasoned ones who are more professional, but I take six months to make a good crossword, come up with a theme, fill it up, submit it another four months, you get a response, and then you say yes. So by the time the crossword is published, I have no idea what to do. I don't remember anything. Obviously, I just pass. And the best part is, when I send my crossword, I send it with my clues, but the editor changes is 75%. Because he is the one who decides which day of the week it will fall in. I may have made it a Friday puzzle for the crossword. The editor may think it's a Tuesday or Wednesday, so we have to grade it down. So, and then I am sitting in Mumbai. The audience is in the United States, so he will have to shift. Obviously, I try to make it as global as possible, but he will try to make it a bit more global shape. Uh, what does it take? A lot of people have asked me. I have just put down some random objective. Creativity, patience, diligence, and time. What I want to question is this. I don't have great vocabulary. Neither do I read a lot of books. That's, that can be handled. You have software. What is required is ideas. Because the theme is not there in any book. Figures of speech is known to us. We use it. In fact, when we write an SMS, we do write, I will wait for you. W eight. And then 4 is 4, but you don't realize it. In fact, I was wondering, the whole, I mean, the challenge of a crossword constructor is to go slow in life. Because only when you go slow, you need time. Like vending machines.
So, DOE, you check water temperature, how hot it is. Public hangings, execution. That's obvious. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it is wicked. Art. A R T. Public hangings. I told you it's, it bends your mind. A lot of people think it's crap. Fireproof? Jacket. Sorry? Ash. Fireproof. Ash. It's a proof of fire. <laughs> Sorry. Something wicked. Look at the word. Candle. The reason he is answering so much is because he is an answer. Fortune readers, you get it. CEOs, Fortune readers, Fortune magazine. Means of transport when you are late. Hers. Hers. When you die, you get transport. Swear words. Three letters. I do. <laughs> Hearing aid. Bit of a stress. It's annoying. <laughs> Hearing, code hearing, aid. Helps you there. Oh, this one is this one is too good. Too good. Falls for a recently married woman. Sorry. Falls for a recently married woman. Honeymoon. Good Niagara. Falls for a recently married woman. Joint venture, perhaps. Five letter starts with F. Flood. Flood. joint, right? What do you mention in? <laughs> these are some of the kids. The problem is these are the kids you have in private when you are solving your problem. You can't even share them. journey of uh, when I did. So when I started in 1997, because I'm American professor, I was sitting here in India, I used to make a lot of notes. So this gives you a flavor of, if you were planning to start beginning into it, this would be your route. So what you will have to do is, every day note down answers which you quit, which you did not know. Make a note, because most of the answers will repeat. The answers will repeat, the clues may not repeat. But if you know the answer, you will get the drift. So I will have, so I, you know, I know anything new about Christianity because obviously, but I now know Adani, he had three kids and then I have everything. So I made that. I don't know who is Isau and who is Jacob, who is Osiris, Iris. I have no idea. But some of these gospels, I have some. Similarly, I do not know animals and birds. I know, I mean, which bird is in India. But I have learned so much that you can't, you know, it's just part of it. Same with, I know about Greek gods. I don't know about Indian gods, but I know about Greek gods. So I know the Greek god of futility is called Isis. God of peace is called Irene. God of victory is called Nike. All those are questions. In fact, to share something personal, I made my daughter after a very cross crossword popular answer, Eva. <laughs> Something similar. Rivers. I know a lot of rivers around the world. And most of these rivers are here because they are very crossword friendly answers. So there is Lake Aral in the US. Or, sorry, Lake E in the US. It is three waters. Very friendly to use the crosswords. I in my life have never even gone to Lake E, but I am still used it many times. 
Similarly, food, history, geography. That's one of the kicks I used to get. Is that apart from my daily life, I used to learn so many things. So I know history, geography. You name a subject, it has been touched. Because you are dealing with somebody. So the constructor may have, let's say, a rock star background or a rock music background. His puzzle will reflect his knowledge of rock music. And I, as a non-rock music guy, will is expected to now know it because. Similarly, like for example, when I made my themeless puzzle, I put hostile take over because I am from MSP. Now somebody will not know it, but then how that's how you learn new things. Let's make a prospect. Okay. Now that we know so much and we are so experts, I believe. Let's do something simple, but maybe something more relevant. I take my theme answers, Kala Bhoda, Momentum, which is the theme of the festival, nine days, which is the duration of this part, of this festival, and visual art is the section we are in. Okay? So I've got the theme answers, they are symmetrically placed, or symmetrical lengths. I take this grid. Now getting the grid is also pretty easy. You have enough software available, you just put I want two of mine, two of eight, it will give you 100 options. But the challenge is, is when you pick it up and then you place it, how do you fill it nicely? There are 100 ways of having two lengths of nine and two lengths of eight. You can put it anywhere you want. So I put it here visual art, nine days, momentum, color, perfectly placed, symmetrical. I also realize when I'm filling it, that I can add some more theme. I can add Brenda Miller, who is the director of the festival. So I have added that. And then I just check what binds these answers together. So you now actually, okay, not one of the best fills, okay. But I now know that my basic construct is in shape. Filling everything else is okay. And that's how I fill it. You can use whatever you want. Like for example, LGBT is in fashion nowadays. Is it a, is a song? Whatever you want. It's up to you. Good question. Good question. Good question. Dictionary is not the criteria. The criteria is does my average solver know? That's why I said when, before we started. Using a word like selfie or WhatsApp or Facebook me or FB me will be appreciated rather than the Victorian language, which nobody uses. That's why I said, 
when I when we started in the big, when we started there are four broad steps. Right? The last step is filling the grid. For that for that there is a software. But that's the last step. The first thing is to be the team is takes up lots of time. And that does not require you to sit. I mean, I can get a theme even here right now. It, it's a work in process. I'll send you something. 